there's been a series of financial mishaps and so there's no trust from anyone that that they have true fidelity in the, what they're doing and how they're doing it. From January 2014 to May 2019, the Minnesota Department of Human Services mismanaged funds for substance use disorder treatment. And now they're turning around and asking the counties to help them pay back that amount. The federal law requires DHS to reimburse the federal government for their share of payments. However, DHS severely miscalculated funds each county needed to contribute to their payment. The Department of Human Services has not had the systems in place where they can be reliable and accurate. And that's that really goes to the state of Minnesota. Leaving a whopping bill for many of Minnesota's 87 counties. The challenge that I see is that um, I'm not sure where they came up with those numbers. Um, if their accounting was screwed up so much that they billed the federal government inappropriately, how do I know that the 362000 is accurate? So I don't want the property taxpayers here to have to pay that bill. I think it's the state's error and the state should pay the bill. The bills handed out very greatly from county to county, creating that question from representatives. I always love it when DHS starts these kind of letters. They talk about our partnership. If it was a true partnership, then we would have had some early warning about this, not just getting something in the mail that says you owe $362,000. DHS officials told me the number in the bill sent to each county is based on how many people went for treatment and how long they were in treatment. They explained they went back and reviewed claims data to check the number, which means nearly a million dollars will need to be collected from the 11 counties in southeastern Minnesota alone. What else are they going to find when they start cleaning up their systems? And how do we hold counties and tribal governments harmless from errors that were made by the, the by poor administration at the state level. While county officials still question that number, they say this bill also comes at a terrible time. Well, as a county commissioner, when we're just at the tail end of doing our budget, it's like, who needs a bill for $362,000? DHS Commissioner Jody Harpstead sent a letter to each of their county partners with the bills saying they're working to rebuild trust in the department, which could take some time. I know the new commissioner is trying to fix it, but I think they have a real long climb to build integrity back into the DHS. Olmstead County officials say they do have a county reserve and would be able to pay for that amount if or when they decide to do so. They say DHS hasn't provided a deadline for payment and will work with the counties for a payback plan. Reporting live in the studio, Holden Cruzmark, KTDC News.